Hey babes and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it is your first time joining us, welcome, welcome, welcome to it. I really do hope that you stay, you subscribe and you become a part of the CX family. As I'm sure you guys can tell by the title of today's video, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get these beautiful heatless curls using flexi rods. This is going to be perfect if you actually don't have a curling wand and you would like a cheaper alternative to getting this beautiful look. This is definitely going to be for you. I have done this video in collaboration with Tanashi Hair, so thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. And I will also be showing you guys how I do my quick wash and go for my curly wig. So definitely if you guys are interested, do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up right now. Don't forget to comment as you guys are watching the video. And of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of the family so without further ado let us get straight into the video what's up guys we are back with another voiceover as per the huge and i'm just showing you guys how the hair looked before i actually went ahead and did my quick wash and go i'm going to be washing the hair as well as the lace thoroughly first things first i'm just going to submerge the hair in water just to make sure that the hair is wet throughout i do my wash and goes probably once every i would say two to three days just because i do put quite a lot of product in my hair so i do tend to wash it more often if you don't put as much product in it it could probably last a week without having to be washed first things first i'm going to go ahead and take my tresemme shampoo and i'm going to make sure that i put this all over my lace as well as on the hair you guys will see that a little, a little bit later you guys will see how i scrub the lace you do want to be gentle here because you of course do not want to tear your lace but you do want to make sure that all the glue is off your lace before you actually tackle the locks of the hair in case you guys are wondering about the shampoo that i'm using i don't think you really need a specific shampoo i'm using any old shampoo that i have at home but obviously if you have a specific shampoo that you like to use go ahead and do that right now i'm getting into shampooing the actual wig and right now you will see that i am just going to go through add some shampoo and if i need more i will add more i do tend to add it in gradually just to make sure that again i'm getting to every single strand in my hair you guys will see that i actually shampoo my hair twice because of the fact that you will see the first time when i rinse i don't feel like i got all the dirt out so then i just went in one more time to make sure that the hair is clean when you rinse out your hair you want to make sure that the water to actually runs clear so while we are here shampooing and rinsing the hair i just wanted to give you guys a small review on this hair as i said this hair is from tanashi hair it is in the texture loose deep wave and it is 24 inches long i'll put all the other specs on the screen as well as in the description box i just want to say i absolutely love this wig it is so full it's lustreful. it is gorgeous you guys will see it in all the different stages of this video i will post some screenshots right now of myself wearing the hair in different settings so you guys can see that the hair is very versatile you will also see how versatile it is when you guys see it with the flexi rods in it but honestly i absolutely love this hair and if you guys would like any more information on how to purchase price all of that good stuff do check in the description box below <laughs> So right now I'm going to be conditioning my hair. Again, you guys see this conditioner says it's for straight hair or whatever. But honestly, it works just the same. What I'm going to do is take my conditioner and lather it throughout my hair. And then I'm going to take my wet brush. And I'm just going to detangle the hair just to make sure that everything is going to be and feel smooth, soft, detangled and ready to be curled with our flexi rods. Oh, we were 
don't you do get out? I did it in a word that I said. Cause I was hoping you would call me. Once that is all done, I'm just going to take some of my powder and put it on the lace just to make sure that everything blends well with my skin. And then I'm going to be showing you guys how I part the hair. I'm doing this just before I go ahead and put my flexi rods on because of course I'm going to be setting the hair. <laughs> Then we're just going to be doing a normal wig install. You guys have seen this so many times on my channel. So I'm just going to let it play. I'm not going to really explain what's happening. But it's pretty simple as you guys can see. And if you would like to watch another video with a more in-depth explanation, I will tag one down below. So now we're going to get into sectioning the hair. As you guys will see, I sectioned it off using these clips. I got these clips from Discam in case anybody is wondering. They were like 20 something rand. Very, very, very affordable. Now we're going to go ahead and take one section of the hair, spray it with a little bit of water. You don't want to make it wet. You just want it to be a bit damp. And then you guys are now seeing how I wrap my hair in the flexi rods i'm going to be doing this a few times in this video so you guys will see the technique that i use but in my head what i keep thinking is that i just wet it and then i try to make sure that i'm holding my flexi rod the same way that i would hold a curling wand barrel so that kind of helps me to get the correct motion and to actually bend them in the correct way Again, I feel like this is going to be easier for you guys to see than it is for me to explain. But that is the concept in my head. And that is why I do choose to sort of put the flexi rods all lying down as opposed to, you know, spreading them evenly throughout my head. I just want my curls to be flat and actually look like curling wand curls, if that makes sense. <laughs> So now that I'm done putting all my flexi rods in, I'm just going to spray water all over my hair. This is just going to help it set further. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my silk 
um, what do you call these things? Bonnets. I'm going to put my silk bonnet on my head because I will be sleeping with this in. I probably did this around three o'clock and I only took them out the following day at around 10. So that kind of gives you, you know, how long you need to keep them in for the next day so as i said i woke up and i took my flexi rods out my head was a little bit itchy there sorry about that guys <laughs> so this is how i unravel my flexi rods again this technique is pretty important so that you don't destroy what you've honestly spent all these hours waiting for <laughs> after you're done with that you want to take this tresemme serum the serum is amazing for controlling any flyaways and frizziness in your hair so i take this and i put this all over my hair before i go ahead and separate the curls you guys will see that i separate the curls into twos and threes depending on how large the sections are that i actually uh, rolled them in but you guys will see how i separate them and this obviously is just going to make the hair look a little bit more natural wanted to see you smile but you was all so bad see now i sit in my room soak up all of my doom while i'm building my tune yeah no more drawing cartoons in my hair where you rest when i'm writing my tune say who i love yes the way you undress all my stress when i'm thinking of you now I'm back in no friend like I'm lost in the lane I don't have pro tools once you fill up my And finally we are done and this is the finished look I see past your bluffing for some reason now you've been feeling my touch Yes you don't know you don't know you I really do hope you guys found this video to be useful if you did please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up let me know down below if you found it to be useful as well and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more hair tips and tricks and tutorials as well as a whole bunch of other things if you guys would like to check out some of my other Content, please do stay tuned till the end of this video and you guys will find some awesome suggestions at the end but like we have to I got to go and I'll see you all in my next video bye